Um, a recent NBC investigation found at least 33 instances where you posted about a specific person or institution and that person or institution was immediately bombarded with death threats and violent threats, um, including bomb threats. It's not like I have a bomb in here. It's not like I want to blow up the plane. Sure. This week after the entire media machine came after me, so are they responsible for those? I don't think that there is um, the same correlation. Are you receiving bomb threats? No, I said I didn't have a bomb. You said bomb. I said it's not like I have a bomb. You said bomb on an airplane. And I, and I guess to me, a death threat is different than a violent bomb threat. Bomb, 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 bomb. Just want to start off by reminding you, for each person that leaves a like on this video, Taylor Lorenz gets one year older. And as you know, she's already very old. Now, there was a essentially a hit piece put out about Libs of TikTok. Uh, you know, essentially Libs of TikTok was just somebody that freebooted unhinged TikTok videos and uploaded them to Twitter, um, you know, generally without context and without editing or anything like that. And um, <clears throat> essentially just took them out of their little echo chamber and showed them to the world. Not exactly a super unique business model, but it worked great for her. And um, ever since then, the money's been flowing in. Now suddenly <clears throat> she's out there in front of the camera, touring Israel or something like that. I, I don't really follow everything that's going on. It, to, to me, I just still view it as just a, a TikTok account or a Twitter account. But um, the battle between her and Taylor Lorenz is something that I'm a big fan of. Uh, and there was this piece that came out uh, essentially, what was it, Saturday or Friday? It's early Saturday morning where, you know, it's essentially a hit piece calling libs of TikTok far right and saying she's responsible for people calling in various threats to schools and hospitals. But Taylor Lorenz isn't responsible for anything that comes of, you know, as a result of her reporting. It was a fantastic um bit of delusion now of course libs of tiktok showed up with the crying taylor lorenz t-shirt on as well as a box of masks um as a as a bit of an irl troll i suppose far right activist chaya rychek splits her time between california where she's registered to vote and florida where she often travels but the place where she's arguably having the biggest impact these days is oklahoma a state she's only visited once. Raichi, who operates a social media account, lives of TikTok, has amassed an audience of millions on X, the platform formerly known as a Twitter, largely by targeting LGBTQ people. I disagree with that. I would say reporting in general on insanity. Now, if one group of people is, you know, particularly, you know, more, you know, on that spectrum, then, you know, that so be, you know, so be it. Now, of course, since her appointment, so I'm sorry, um, last month she was appointed to the Oklahoma Library Media Advisory Committee by Republican School Superintendent Ryan Walters, a former history teacher who has been called the state's top culture warrior for his opposition to teachers unions and other conservative targets, including LGBTQ plus rights, student rights. Since her appointment, Rychik has sought to pull books depicting uh, LGBTQ people, as well as bedroom education from public school libraries, saying that she has found prawn in various districts, but her growing role in the state has drawn the greater attention since, of course, Nex Benedict, the non-binary student who passed away uh, the day after a fight in the girls' bathroom, has now been, she's being blamed for that. Now, just so everybody knows, this was the media's, like the media wanted to make this about, you know, the fight that happened, wanted to make it about this individual's identity. Well, it turns out the individual started it, first of all. And second of all, passing away, I guess, had nothing to do with the fight. It, weird timing. I don't know. We've seen reports come out saying that it really had nothing to do with that. She had a medical emergency. I don't know if they've, if they've uh, you know, exp expanded upon that anymore. But, you know, essentially... It had nothing to do with it. Now, Owasso Pol Police Lieutenant Nick Boatman on Friday said 
Benedict did not pass as a result of what happened in that fight, according to preliminary information from the ME. And the department is awaiting results of toxicology to determine the cause. Benedict's parents have questioned that conclusion. Meanwhile, LGBTQ supporters in Oklahoma and elsewhere have b- continued to blame the fight for um, her passing and accuse Rychik of bearing some responsibility to the fight. Again, libs of TikTok, Chaya Rychik, whatever you want to say, uh, had <laughs> absolutely positively nothing to do with it. In no way, shape, or form was she responsible for this girl passing. Had nothing to do with it. That won't stop the Washington Post, Taylor Lorenz, from insinuating that she did, and many of these other woke weirdos from doing the same. On Thursday, Oklahoma City Councilor Sean Cummings, Democrat, lambasted libs of TikTok for stoking the hatred in the state, saying she has blood on her hands. And Matt Bernstein, a 25-year-old LGBTQ plus content creator in New York, has been targeted by Libs of TikTok. I said, I'm just constantly hearing how Chaya specifically has caused a rift in the experience of being a queer high schooler in America. Well, you, you're 25, you talk to a lot of gay high schoolers. That's a weird admission. So this whole thing comes out essentially trying to jacket Libs of TikTok with the passing of this girl, which again, had nothing to do with the fight. This was like Operation Trans Floyd, and it's in shambles. They wanted to have this be their moment. They wanted to, they wanted this to be their, their thing that they could pin on libs of TikTok to get them deplatformed. Like there's absolutely no doubt in my mind about that. Like, there's, there's absolutely no doubt. And now the evidence doesn't support it, and they're all melting down. You can see the way they, the way they uh, pinned it. Hi, we're going to write a whole story framing you as a dangerous Terry. Can you please give us a comment so that we can twist to fit our pre-written story? Thanks, from Taylor Lorenz. Hi, Chaya. We're working on a story relating to the passing of Next Benedict. By the way, again, someone who is non-binary, fine, don't care. But more importantly started the fight and did not die from it but they're going to write that article anyway it's so weird right like we also note that young people and lgbtq people in the area say they live in fear of being targeted by your account we note this in response to people asking online asking you to respond to nexus passing you posted a selfie with the caption good evening everybody even the haters and the losers. Why should she have to respond to that? She never posted on her. She never, you know, she never, you know, covered her. And again, I will say for the fourth time, the girl started the fight, first of all. And second of all, that is not why they passed. And third of all, Libs of TikTok had nothing to do with any of it. Of course, the interview had great uh, you know, clips like this one where Taylor Lorenz equates, uh, equates kids getting nose jobs with boys chopping off their junk because they think they're girls. I mean, yeah. I think like the interview here, I think it's funny. Why are you wearing an N95 when you're outside? She shows up with a Taylor Lorenz t-shirt and the mask, a little cringe in my opinion, but whatever. Um, the t-shirt's fine with the mask. I don't know. I wouldn't go buy masks just for the bit, but I guess I don't really care. I mean, it's Taylor Lorenz. She deserves it. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I do think it's funny that they actually sat down. I asked a mass Taylor Lorenz how old she is, and she refused to say. She claims it will harm her family if people know her real age. Literally what? I'll tell you. She's 39. She's 39. She'll be 40 in like a month or two. How old are you? Oh, God, good question. I don't put it out on the internet. I don't put it out on the internet. Why? What? This is somebody who says, oh, well, you're a public figure, so I'm going to dox you. You don't put it out on the internet? I mean, she also says that she thinks it's okay to give kids spicy type videos and books in school. She wants young kids to have photos of two men hooking up in elementary school. 
Taylor Lawrence, there have been several uh, you know, bomb threats issued. I blame you. Wait, I get all sorts of threats all the time, thanks to you. Taylor, but the those threats aren't really like the bomb threats. <laughs> like what? What? I mean, this woman is completely insane. Just to summarize my interview with Taylor Lorenz, she's not at all concerned about our open border and millions of people invading our country. She's pro-mutilation. She wants spicy videos in schools. She wants the media to be allowed to defame me with impunity. She wants me to be responsible for all reactions, comments, and actions that happen after I post a TikTok, but does not want to take responsibility for what happens after she reports on me. She's a lizard person. She's scared of people knowing her age. She's still wearing a mask outdoors in 2024. Yeah. I mean, that that seems like that's about right. You know, that's that's about right. I, I just, I don't understand. You know, of course, Taylor runs the scummiest move possible and released the interview when she knew I would be offline for 24 hours. I mean, who cares? Who even reads? Does anybody even read the Washington Post? Like, legitimately. Does anybody read the Washington Post? Does anybody, like, if Chaya Raichik did not... If Chaya Raichik did not respond in this manner, would anyone have read? Would anyone have even read this article in the Washington Post? I'd be I'd be willing to bet it's probably none. It'd probably probably like forty five people would have read it. Taylor Lorenz refuses to answer lives a TikTok question about how old she is because it might harm her family. Keep in mind, Lorenz literally stalked the lives of TikTok family and doxed her. That is a true statement. I mean, it, it, it's, it's wild to me. Um, also, by the way, RFK and Aaron Elizabeth are suing the Washington Post. This is the writer Taylor Renz wearing a mask outside, interviewing Chai from Libs of TikTok, who she doxxed. Her hypocrisy is so gross, it should be illegal. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, this, the, this battle between Taylor Lorenz and Libs of TikTok will probably rage on forever. I'm a big fan of it. And uh, <laughs> I'm a big, big fan of it. And, uh, you know, these two women one day will perhaps release a, a video together, you know, working out all their frustrations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon.